Welcome to my beautiful country, Antigua and Barbuda, and the wonderful surviving Richards Cricket Stadium for the CG Insurance ODI, West Indies versus Sri Lanka. This boundary runs again for Gunatilika, six without loss. Pop down the ground. It was struck on the up. Already Gunatilika making his assessment, knowing it's a good surface for batting. Again, he goes down the ground. That's a really good shot. High risk though. But he does well in terms of making contact and getting a good result. Nice pickup shot there from uh, Gunatelika. Emoto is on yet again at the start of this innings. Already 25 from 21. Bounce in the surface and pace in the surface. And that has flown all the way for six. Should be gone this time. That's a big one. Joseph strikes. Good wicket for the West Indies. Zara Joseph breaking the partnership. And Fabian Allen making no mistake. First wicket down. Clean him up, Jason Mohammed. His economy has been excellent, and now he strikes. Jason Mohammed is carrying the steam mm -hmm. with the ball. His sixth wicket in this series so far. Ejjan gone. Dropped him. Jason Holder. Straight to him. Oh! Nicely played by Chandimal. Just helped it on its way. Will challenge the boundary and it gets there eventually. So nice boundary here you know, for Chandimal and Sri Lanka. A shot that tells you a little bit about Nasanka's ability. Beautiful timing, straight down the ground. That shot was perhaps created by the one before where he used his feet, forcing Hossein to drag his length back. Akil Hussein strikes back after two boundaries. The South Force got his man. The perfect answer from Akil Hussein. That's the end of that. A second wicket for Akil Hussein. Bowled beautifully in Bangladesh, and he'll be enjoying this. For sure, celebration in style. Akil Hussain had a very good tour of Bangladesh and he's continued that good work here. This time he stands on his back foot and gets the elevation. One bounce into the boundary rope. Clean him up again. Akil Hussain. Another one goes through and shatters the stump. Third wicket for Hussein. I mean, don't let him out. Keep up. Some miscommunication. Yeah. Direct hit. Direct hit is usually worrisome for the batsman. Umpire calls for the review. Ball is coming in. Stumps broken short of the crease. Satisfied with that, it's out. I repeat, out. Excellent work from Nicholas Puran. Finds the gap too short from Philip. Karim Pollard will not want him to focus on that area at this stage of the innings. Was searching for the Yorker. 
ended up being a half volley. Goes long and gets it right. That's a welcome six for the Sri Lankans. He goes straight, Asaranga, and goes all the way for six. Caught by Hayden Walls Jr. quite easily, but a welcome boundary for Sri Lanka. Goes for a big shot to Bandara and gets it all the way. Another six for Sri Lanka. Their fourth six of the innings. And that's it. His maiden won the international half century for Wanindu Hasaranga. Even in discomfort, continues to soldier on for his team. Applauded by his teammates. This time, he gets it past Jason Mohammed at that short final leg position and gets the boundary to end the over. 48 gone, 241 for six. Swivels on it and gets it in the gap. Ashan Bandara just helped it on its way. And a flurry of boundaries now. Goes straight, Bandara and gets the boundary. Gets a 50 as well. His second won the international 15. Only his third match, Ashan Bandara. Well, he does try and he does succeed. And gets a boundary. Well, you could almost predict it because that's the easier way for him to try and pick a boundary. Goes to the offside, thick outside edge, peels away and goes into the boundary. So three consecutive boundaries now for Walindu Hasaranga. And on the charge here, Sri Lanka with two deliveries left. Short, walloped, six. Three fours and a six for Walindu Hasaranga. And gets them to 273. The exact score they got in the second one day international Two is the call. Good delivery from Jason Holder. Just one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It will be in Sri Lanka end their 50 overs on 274 for six. Thanks in the main to that man on screen, Wanindu Hasaranga, unbeaten on 80. Absolutely brilliant. What a shot from Evan Lewis. This guy. Makes batting look so easy. Now this is quality. Quality of the highest order, Shea Hope. Firmly pushed down the ground. Watchful from Evan Lewis. Clean him up. Open him up. That's the advantage of bowling a fuller length. Because once it finishes on the stumps and the batsman doesn't respond, this is the result. Classic. That was classically played. Shea Hope at his best. Right up there. And though the feet don't come, they didn't need to. Middle of the bat. The googly does for Jason Mohammed. It's been a while in coming in this ODI series for Hasaranga. He's got his first of the ODIs. He plays these shots very well. No problem with his six hitting. That's a big hit by She Hope. Finally, the shackles are broken. Tremendous stroke. 
I, I love this stroke because oftentimes with Bravo, he will power the ball more straight down the ground and the leg side. This just hit with the line outside off. And because that pressure was building, that was well struck by Bravo. He's paid the biggest penalty. It's gone for six, the free hit. Another well compiled 50 by uh, the run machine, Shea Hope. 19 of his career and his 650 plus score in a row. Pressure on Fernando straight away. A shot of some force and intent from Shea Hope. This time he could celebrate. You wouldn't see him celebrate because he celebrated one run earlier. Bravo, but uh, it will do his confidence a whole lot of good. Should be taken, should be taken. Good running catch. So the change in bowler working for the Sri Lankans. Shea Hope using his feet, finding Saranga Lakmal. Partnership broken. There's no doubt about that. You can argue with the wind and all of those things. Good strike. <laughs> close, close, yes, gone. away nicely and tucked away for four pull out advancing down the pitch at Lakmal welcome boundary for the West Indies could be four more again pull out advancing to Lakmal a little bit of in drift on the wind here with the old ball four more runs Three in a row for Pollard. If a little bit of fortune has smiled on him there. Yes, he's advanced again to nullify that swing. Nice strike. All the way for six and into a slight wind on that side of the ground. It's a second shot Bravo's played for six in that general area. That was good to see. Run starting to hemorrhage now. 200 comes up for the West Indies. And surely it must be Hasaranga time for Sri Lanka. Way down the leg side, beating the keeper into the boundary fence, it goes. Four runs to Darren Bravo. Darren Bravo on 97. Sweeps it fine, he gets to the boundary, and that's the moment for Darren Bravo. His fourth one day international century, and his first uh, since June 2016. And certainly a special moment uh, for the Trent Tobago and West Indies batsman. Gone. Good catch. Saranga Lakmal takes the wicket. Important wicket of Darren Bravo. Falls soon after getting to his 100. Not what they would have wanted the West Indies. Full toss drilled down the ground by Karen Pollard. And once he hits them, they stay hit. And that brings up the 50 for Captain Karen Pollard.
edged. Gone down to the boundary. Fortuitous boundary for Jason Holder. And that's it. Massive blow from Jason Holder to end the game and the series. 3-0 to the West Indies. They win by five wickets here at the Sir Viv Richard Stadium in North Sound. Congratulations all around from the West Indies.